Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, thank you so much for watching or welcome to my channel if you're new. If you are, hello, thank you for watching, I hope you stay, you probably won't after that ridiculous intro. Are you as excited as I am? Probably not because I am buzzing for all of the Christmassy Primark things slash went in there for Christmassy Primark things, came out with just a lot of normal things and a couple of Christmas things but this is me so I'm sure you're not surprised but yeah we have some good things today. Quick disclaimer, obviously I watched Harry Potter last night and my hair was inspired by Hermione and Hagrid's day. Also guys, if you are new to my channel and you like my style or you like what I do or my travel vlogs or my, I was going to say eating vlogs, I haven't done that many eating vlogs, but my vlogs are basically eating vlogs because I do do it 24 seven and you want to keep up to date with what I'm doing on a daily basis, head over to Instagram. I upload my daily outfits, what I'm eating because I have celiac disease. So if you are also celiac or gluten free, then hopefully that should be super helpful. If you want to see my travels because I travel a lot, I've been in New York a lot recently. So my whole feed is basically a homage to New York itself. But yes, if you want to check that out, it's at or next door. And also I am much better replying to DMs than I am to comments on here because I am slightly useless, but that is a 2018 resolution. <laughs> okay, onto the haul. Gonna start with this jumper because otherwise I will just forget it. <sighs> I love it. I love it. I just love it. I've realised that I just kind of groped myself as I did that. What I was trying to do was show how snugly and cuddly it was, but I understand it might have looked slightly strange. This jumper is from Primark, obviously, because it's a Primark call. Cool. It was £13 and I am obsessed with the colour. I feel like it will look quite orange in this lighting, but it's more of like a ready orange. And if you follow my Instagram, you will already know that I am a big fan of red and orange and orange reds because I have a million jumpers slash wear them all the time but I thought why not add another one to my stash so I picked up this one I think it might be one of my favorites guys I think it might be one of my favorites it's so warm it's so cozy and the color I feel like is really stunning and also I was gonna say it will transition into summer not that I'm gonna be wearing jumpers in summer although I do live in London so probably but I do love it and I know that I will wear it for the next few months so I hope you enjoy it as well because it will be popping up everywhere and it was £13 as well so I feel like I mean everything in Primark is just such good value but specifically loving this one at the moment and then what am I going to go for in my bag of tricks slash Narnia that I've just made on my bed here this jumper no this isn't working for me so this jumper probably looks quite large and that's because it is because I got it literally in a large I saw it, loved it, loved the style, loved the colour, I'm obsessed with this mustard colour at the moment. But I picked up this jumper in a large because the one that was true to my size um, looked like it would be quite tight fitting and I don't know about you guys but it's nearly Christmas, in fact we are three days away, three days away! And I am ready for all of the pigs in blankets and all of the mince pies and all of the good things um, so there is no point in getting anything tight because just no. But I love this one so much, obsessed with the colour and I just really like these little slitty arm things. I'm sure there's a better name than slitty arm things, but that's what we're going with. And this one was £10 as well, so obviously amazing, amazing value. Did I get any more jumpers? Of course I did. My next piece is this one, and I know if you followed me for a while, especially on Instagram and over here, and even on my blog actually, then you will be like, girl, you own, well you probably wouldn't call me girl because you're a bit cooler than that, but you'll be thinking, Elle, you own, 20 different pink jumpers and when I say different I mean nearly identical you are right but yes I got another one this one is slightly different I am telling myself because it is bardo and also it's that like chenille 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 material which I love but this one's bardo and I just think it's so pretty and it sits so nicely and there is no other way that I can justify getting another pink jumper other than I really like it and it looks a bit different to the rest of the ones that I have I just love it, it's super comfortable, it's a bit darker than the other colours as well, still trying to justify not working. But I love that, and then I picked up this which is absolutely not winter appropriate, but I saw it, saw how oversized it was, or is it even oversized or have I just got a bigger size? I have got a bigger size, but I think it's still quite oversized even if you get it in the right size. How many times can you say size in one sentence? Apparently a lot. I love this so much and I imagine this with some leather trousers and some over the knee boots and you guys know that I'm a big fan of over the knee boots so I feel like prepared to see this outfit splashed everywhere all over Instagram all over my what I wear this week vlogs all of the good things basically everywhere um because I just love it and also when I saw it it reminded me of LC if you don't know who LC is were you even a 90s child Lauren Conrad from the hills 
always, always used to wear like oversized check shirts and just like the coolest jeans and some like um, pointed court shoes and I was obsessed. I just loved her. I just loved her. Did you love her as well? Comment below if you also love Lauren Conrad because I feel like if you do then we can definitely be best friends. And they also had it in lots and lots of different colours but I thought I'd stick with this one because I quite enjoyed this one. I enjoyed the shirt. Then I decided to go to the pyjama section because if you go to Primark and walk out without pyjamas did you even really go to Primark? I'm not sure you did. I picked up these leggings. They are like... No, actually, that's a lie. I was going to say they're like a hug from Hagrid inside because I thought that they were the fleecy ones, but they're not. I mean, they're comfortable, but they're just not like the sheepskin. I'm sure they're not actually sheepskin, but you know, the really like fluffy, cosy ones. But they are super cosy, all the same. I love these ones. I love the grey. I love the snowmen. It's Christmas. It is in a few days. When you're watching this, I think it will be Christmas tomorrow. If it is when you're watching this, Merry Christmas, guys. If you're watching this on Christmas Day, Merry Christmas. If you're watching it after, hope you had a good Christmas. But I love these. They're so comfortable. They are so comfortable that I even got them in another Christmassy shade, pattern, pattern. That's the one. I really like these ones and there is not much else to say. Oh, they were £10 and also I sized up because I feel like they obviously are meant to be tight fitting but again I'm ready to lounge and watch Elf 20 times in a row and eat so many quality streets that I've basically turned into the green triangle so I wanted a bigger size. These make me really happy. If it is wrong for boots to make you happy I never want to be right again. Oh my god I did not realise. Okay even more excited. So I picked up these boots because if you followed me for a while then you would have seen the red versions of these splashed all over my Instagram, all over this channel. Um, I actually have had, I would say combined, about 20 DMs and messages and people posting um, and tagging me in their photos um, of the red versions of this because I feel like there wasn't a massive amount of stock but they are so beautiful and they just look incredible and they're very 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 similar to the Chloe Susanna boots which are like £900 and these were, I can't find the original sticker because they've been, no this isn't, okay this isn't going well, they were originally £16 and I picked these up for £6, I feel like such a player right now guys, <laughs> such a player. I picked these up for £6 and I really love them and I've worn the red ones to death and I know that I will wear these to death so yeah. I think I've actually got the wrong size because they look huge. Other way I enjoy them a lot. Then I've got these jeans, I'm a big 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 fan of Primark jeans, their jeggings are like my daily wardrobe goes to, goes to? No, that's not a thing go-to's um, but I've never tried the girlfriend style I don't even know what a girlfriend style jean is if I'm being totally honest with you um, but I saw these and I saw the stars I hope you can see them if you can't I will show you a close-up anyway um, I just love them so so much the only thing that I'm slightly worried about is sometimes I have to size up in Primark jeans because I look a little bit like a sausage in its skin and uh, wasn't quite what I was going for. I'm hoping that these fit me but I just love them so much they're just like a almost like a grey black or like a charcoal grey or just like a washed out black. <laughs> How much were they? Okay they were £19 which actually is on the more expensive side for Primark because I feel like jeans tend to sit around the £13 mark but maybe it's because the pattern is really cute and obviously £19 for a pair of jeans is still incredible and I find the quality of Primark jeans just as good as Topshop, just as good as River Island and they tend to be around £45 so well done Primark. That was the weirdest, most uncool, most almost patronising thumbs up that I've ever done in my entire life. I love you Primark. Then I picked up these pyjamas because they were Disney and I didn't even think that I was a Disney person until I went to Disney with Disney. If you didn't see that vlog by the way it's one of my favourites because it just reminds me of such a happy time. Um, I'll link it up below or just like pop it on screen now or if you want to see it that much you will just go and search for it I'm sure. Um, but ever since I went I was like oh my god turn me into Mickey Mouse right now. Well not not quite like that. So I saw these and I loved them and again I got them in the bigger size. I actually got a 14 to 16 so I'm imagining that they might be quite big on me but I personally feel like there's nothing worse than having tight pyjamas. I mean there are lots of things in the world worse than having tight pyjamas but it's one of my like 
first world problems. One of the things that I just like, I always need my pyjamas to be oversized because again, there is a developing theme here and there's a sneeze coming. Is it gonna come out to the light? No. I can't remember what I was saying because I was a bit distracted by the fact that I was convinced that I was gonna sneeze, but I really, really, really love these. I got them oversized. I like lounging with a pizza and Netflix and all of the chill things, so. I just enjoy them I just enjoy them guys and also I got the matching long trousers and they're a really nice cotton soft cotton descriptive skills on point as always finally I picked up this cushion I've got the grey version of this um, it's probably been on Instagram a thousand times it probably deserves its own hashtag I saw it in pink and I just needed it because look at how pretty it is I just love it it's just so cute well not cute but like very very pretty and the pink and the rose gold is very cliche of me, but I don't even care. It was seven pounds, seven pounds, honestly, seven pounds. And I just really love it, so I'm so happy to have it as part of my, I was gonna say pink paradise, but I feel like that almost sounds slightly wrong. I just really love it. It's gonna make a great addition to my bed, I am sure. And that is the end of my video. I really, really hope you enjoyed it. If you are London based or not just London based, if you are UK based or they actually have a Primark in America in some states now, don't they? Basically, if you can get to a Primark, this is very, very recent and I'm putting the video out like a day or two after I've actually filmed it. So if you love any of the things, then you should hopefully be able to pick them up. But yes, I really, really hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what your favourite piece was down below. If you did, please feel free to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you're new. But most importantly, out of all of that jazz, Merry Christmas for tomorrow or Merry Christmas for today if you're watching it on that day or I hope you had a wonderful Christmas. As always if you are subscribed then I'll see you in my next video and if you want to keep up to date with what I'm doing on a daily basis all day long because I'm a big fan of the old Instagram stories then head over there it's at on next door. Yeah hope you had the best Christmas and new year and I'll see you all soon. Thanks so much for watching. Bye! That was a long wave. Bye! <laughs>